I will face fuck you. All right. <laughs> What's up there, friends? How you doing? This is going to be my review of the new XXX Tentacion album, 17. By now, I think we've all heard about XXX Tentacion, even though uh, most of you have probably just heard about him through the video of him getting punched in the face or the one of him sucking a woman's titty on stage. This is uh, his debut album. It's called 17. This album is surprising to me. Sometimes it's for the better, sometimes it's for the worse. He opens the album with this, this very earnest monologue that he calls The Explanation, where he kind of just talks about how by listening to this album and listening to his words, you are literally, and he says that, and he stresses that you are literally inside his mind while listening to this album. Do I feel this way when listening to this album? Not personally, but... A lot of people are really enjoying this album, so let's get into it. He shows a very vulnerable and emotional side to himself that he kind of has shown in his verses through his stuff that was on SoundCloud and other means, but through this album is definitely the most depressing and the most kind of openly vulnerable that he's been. He shows with this debut that he's trying to set a tone for his career, that he's not going to be uh, the greatest bar spitter of all time. He's out to be a new creative force in the industry, which I do respect. He spends a lot of time on the album trying to showcase his influences. He did say in his XXL interview that uh, some of his big influences are Nirvana, and uh, he said that he fucked around with some Sugar Ray. You definitely hear some of this influence on songs like Save Me or uh, Revenge. Save Me Especially is the longest track on the album, and it's almost a pure grunge song, which comes kind of as a surprise to me, and it kind of stops the album for a while. It doesn't keep the flow going the way I really think it should. There are some truly interesting instrument parts, though, in this album. The tone sounds great, it's mixed well, but at times it kind of strays away from being a rap album. But following the unconventional nature of this album, the rap-centric songs like Fuck Love, which has a really great feature from Trippy Red and uh, Everybody Dies in Their Nightmares, there's still just kind of like, when you listen to this, you can visualize kind of a dreary day, you know what I mean? It's not going to be an album that you're gonna bump to you know, I mean, you're not going to play 17 at a party or anything. This is something to listen to when you're just kind of by yourself and listening to music and want something to relate to, I guess. One of the big issues I do have with this album is the overarching slowness of it all. The sensational and kind of larger than life persona that X tries to give or has tried to give so far kind of is lost on this album. I was really expecting him to come out of the gate just ripping with a really savage, really controversial album that was going to be creating headlines all over Complex and Vice and such. But it doesn't really seem to do that. This album is somewhat subdued. Uh, nothing on this album is akin to, like, Look At Me or anything that he's put out so far. Though it makes sense to me that uh, probably the biggest rapper on the scene right now, Kendrick Lamar, has identified with this album through his tweets. He says that he's listened to it five times through. It seems to me like on a lyrical level and on a tonal level, they're on they're kind of kindred spirits talking about depression and talking about issues mentally rather than most rappers not tackling those issues. I hope that X comes out with something a little bit more vivacious next time, something with a little bit more roundness to it. This album I've listened to about three times through, and honestly, I, I don't really see myself going back to it after this. I look forward to what X has to say in the future, but honestly, this album at a 22-minute runtime just doesn't hold my attention the way it really should, especially a debut album like this. If you think about the great debut albums of all time, think about Kendrick Lamar coming with Good Kid, Mad City. We need something that's going to be a little bit more at your throat, I think. Thank you for listening. If you liked the new XXX Tentacion album, I am really glad for you. I would like to hear what you have to say about it. If you are excited to see what he has to put out in the future, let us know. There's going to be another review on one of these sides 
There's going to be a link to smash the subscribe button on the other side. All right, guys. Thank you for watching.